Just as in brothers, following the announcement last week by both the First Minister and the Chancellor of the Exchequer, the County Grand Executive felt it was important that I should deliver a short address to our members. As cases of coronavirus continue to rise and our lives are once again impacted by the stringent and tough measures that the, the government have had to put in place to try and combat the sharp increase in cases, we would again remind you all of the importance of the well-being of our members. Many were already struggling before the tougher measures were introduced last week and the County Grand Lodge Executive are pretty concerned that the effect that these latest restrictions may have on our members. I would again encourage all of you to remember and show some compassion and a duty of care to our members. Please try to get in touch with all the members of your lodge and check on their well-being. A friendly voice may just be the tonic they need. For anyone out there who is struggling with their mental well-being and feel they may need a bit more professional help, there is lots and lots of help out there. We have posted links on our social media feeds of some of the groups who can offer you the help and the guidance that you may need. Importantly, remember it is okay not to be okay. As the job retention scheme nears its end and the Chancellor's announcement last Thursday of the job support scheme, many may find themselves unfortunately unemployed through no fault of their own. Many will naturally feel too proud to admit that they may need help. I would say to anyone who may be struggling not to be embarrassed or ashamed to reach out to your orange brothers and sisters. I would again remind everyone of that famous Christian virtue of charity. Throughout the pandemic we have shown selfless charity to the entire community but let us not forget those from within that may need our help. No one should suffer due to this horrible virus. Let us help each other through this and reaffirm those strong fraternal bonds we share as being members of the Loyal Arms Institution. Together, we will get through this. I would encourage you just to continue to follow the current guidance and let's continue to hope and pray that normality, whatever that may be, is just around the corner. Stay safe, stay well and take care.